So I'm kind of doing something I don't normally do. I'm just kind of detecting just some flat field, but you can, there's no way you'll see it from here, but clear over down off that edge, you know, several hundred yards that way, there's a huge apple tree. But there doesn't seem to be any sort of home site down there. And up here, I saw just a teeny bit of wood and a little bit of tin. And so I'm just hoping that there was maybe an old home site that burned out or something. But look at that. Got an old nail. Maybe I am on to something. I can't believe it. Man. I think I have some sort of jewelry right here. Let me uh, scrub this sucker up. Yeah. I don't know if that's an earring or what, but I can't believe what I'm, what I just found. There's like a little ravine here. I'll show you here in a second, but it is just full of wood and junk. There's a home site here somewhere. I knew it. You just never see an apple tree and then nobody lives near it. Are you guys seeing this? This is crazy. This is like a dump. Except for a fairly old dump. Man, there's glass in there everywhere. Man, this might turn into a, a bottle hunt. And then look over here, look at all this wood. Makes me wonder if there was like a, you know, like a house over there and they just shoved it down in the hole. Oh. Lots of treasures around here. All right, let me see if I can find something cool. So there's a million bottles that are all perfect, but yeah, none of them look that fancy or old. Here's a old dad's draft root beer can. But see, it's not that old because it has a pop top. Um, no, no. I think I better just keep metal detecting. I don't think there's anything in here really worth my time. I mean, I saw a few mason jar lids, but yeah. Well, there's one that's kind of neat. I wish it was embossed or something. It just all seemed to be a little newer. I don't know, 50s, 60s. Now it's not all new stuff. I mean, there's that looks pretty old. I'm gonna go on the other side where that wood was and see if there actually was a building on that other side. Well, I'm up where that wood got tossed in, and what you know, zinc penny. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to film this lone apple tree. I never really did find a home site up there. I mean, there's plenty of trash, but I think they're dumping it from somewhere else. But I'm going to stay on it. I can feel a home site around here somewhere. It's just a lot of territory, you know. They can, unless you walk every one of these fields, which is hard to do, because, you know, you can't just drive all over them. you got to stay on the roads. Uh, yeah, they're hard to find. But... There's almost always a home site when you find an apple tree. So I don't know what's going on here. Yeah, and it's getting late in the day. Uh, this is just an after work kind of hunt slash scouting trip. So stay tuned, see what happens tomorrow. So I'm cruising around looking for a home site. I haven't really found a home site here, but there is a bunch of metal and stuff. Anyways, first target, I got myself a wheat penny. See if I can get a year. So it says 52, so I'm not super old. Let's keep looking. Well, a few feet away. Looks like I got another weedy. Let's see if I can get a <clears throat> date on this one. Well, it ended up being a 1909 first year. So I had to clean it up extra good. See if it's a VDB. I don't think so. <laughs> All right, see the shade tree? 
I think down in here somewhere is where the homestead was, fortunately. I don't have permission to go into the neighbor's fence. So maybe I can get permission to go over there. But anyways, I just was kind of working like a little parking area over here, which is where I got the weebies. So uh, on to the next spot. All right, Dinwiddie got a head start on me today. Look at that. Can't, I don't see any marks, so I don't know if it's actually silver. That one's not. I can't tell on that one either. I tried looking at it, but my eyes are not uh, working that well. Probably just bling, but. Uh, I'm pretty sure that one's. Bring, sure. It, bring it up like a penny, 21. Yeah, I think that one's silver. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that one's silver. i have to clean it up more and get a camera on so I can see it. Looks like it's missing one of the jewels. Yeah. Pretty cool, though. Look at that. He's already got a stick. <laughs> yeah, he's got a bunch of clad here. Boom. All right, I guess I'm going to jump in the action. See what I can get. All right, I just busted my eyeballs out, and it does say sterling. Well, that didn't take long. Got a signal. Ah, stinking Lincoln. Well, it's a fancy little plate or something from a tea set, I think. I don't know. <laughs> I think I found a plane crash. A little toy well looks like I got a token on a chain here what does this say let me clean her up it says Transagra Corporation Lactobacillus Acidophilus Colback Waste Treatment <laughs> Uh, that's interesting. I mean, uh, it says, uh, cultural bactella, animal forage plant, the new era of agriculture. I mean, that's quite a hefty coin. And it, it was on a little chain. I don't see the little chain now. Huh. Weird. All right, now there's what I like. I think I got me a Tootsie here. And I don't think I have this one yet. Man, let me brush this thing up. All right, that's sweet. That's worth it. Well, I got some sort of gun sticking out here. Probably a little cap gun. Let's see what we got. <laughs> that's cool. Sweet as that. Well, not bad. I think I got me a cat. Yeah. Sort of a little cat jewelry. Well, it does have a mark on it. It says Hong Kong. <laughs> okay, so Dinwiddie took off. And I decided to go try to find a little older site. Here's my first good find, harmonica reed. Hey, not far from it, I got the second one. That's pretty cool. I usually find both of them. All right, so I just wanted to show you this site a little bit. So here's the old uh, cabin foundation right in here. And let me show you this uh, cellar hole on this one's really neat. Actually, we have a, I don't know what this was. Kind of looks like they dug this out. I don't know if this was a, another cellar hole that collapsed on them. But look how neat this one is. Isn't that cool? Awesome, right? All right, let's see what else we can get. Well, that's the old license plate from 1930. Nice. 
least I'm assuming that's what it is. Boy, that sounded good. That's a big old brass buckle. Yeah, even got some belt left on there. And I was screaming. Awesome. Old spin. That's kind of a neat old hook. All right. Well, that looks like a point off a of Model T. Well, if they had cars, they might have had money. Well, I'm, <clears throat> I'm kind of feeling like this has been hit. But hey, there's part of a watch somebody missed. Yeah, so this place has been hit hard. I'm finding a bunch of, you know, like little medicine bottles. They must have been using for injections on cows. But here's a button. Bunch of ammo, you know, the regular stuff. I ain't giving up yet, though. There's got to be something good left here. <laughs> well, it's ugly. <laughs> but I finally got a little piece of suspender here. Yeah, amazing. This is quite a ways from the site, too. Look at that weird thing. I don't know. I guess it's a big piece of jewelry. Strange. So all of a sudden I've been running into these melted pieces. I don't know what they are. Look at the size of that one. What do you make of that? I mean, it's crazy. Like maybe, I don't know, blacksmith? Why would you have a piece of metal melted that big? There's another one. Weird. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the hunt. I know I've had better ones, but we got a few good things. I really like that Tootsie car, especially. Um, this is kind of how it goes. You know, you cruise around and some days you just nail it and some days it's mediocre. You know, you get to a site, maybe somebody's already hit it. But man, it's always good to be out. Anyways, hope you enjoyed it. See you on the next one.